is uh, MK. I am the founder of Filipina Home Based Moms. FH Moms as a social enterprise provides livelihood home based opportunities to Filipino moms. FH Moms goals is to end the poverty here in the Philippines because when you help a mom, you're actually helping the whole family. And then we also want to provide quality education. And we want to promote women empowerment in the workplace and business. Po si Vanessa Lopardero, um, sobrang daming, sobrang daming natutulong nila, knowledge, at napaka-friendly ng community. So, I'm not thank you sa FH Moms dahil as a mother, sobrang pangarap natin na mag-work at home kasama yung mga anak natin, pamilya natin. In 10 years, um, I'm seeing FH Moms as a social enterprise that uh, will help bridge gender equality and um, maybe in 10 years, uh, we already have our own platform because right now all of our initiatives are in Facebook. Hello. Hello everyone. Good evening. Ayan, maraming salamat for joining. I can see you already. Um, let me just go ahead and monitor sa phone ko so that I'll know kung putol na ba ako or, or naririnig nyo pa ako. So anyway, um, I would just like to know kung Naririnig niyo ako ng maayos kung okay yung reception. Ayan, hello everyone. Nakapagkulot ako ngayon, o ba? Ano lang. Actually, tinali ko lang yung buhok ko. So anyway, while waiting for the rest to join, konting chika-chika muna tayo. Ayan, I would love to know where you are watching. So earlier today, I posted sa, ano natin, sa group, yung link ng event natin sa slido.com. So it's something that I want to try and I want to introduce to everyone just in case hindi pa kayo aware or hindi nyo pa alam kung ano yung slido.com. It's actually something that you can use para maging mas interactive yung ano mo, yung live session. So um, we can ask questions, we can have a poll, we can have a quiz. So we can try that tonight and see if it's okay. If it's okay, then I'm going to upgrade para um, yung next na webinars natin mas nakakatuwa and mas enjoy. Hindi lang yung puro, ako lang yung nagsasalita. I would love to ano then to make everyone participate. Ayan. So meron tayong... Let me see. Let me share my screen right now. Okay. So, can you see my screen already? Okay. So, ito siya. So far, ito yung mga sagot. Um, kanina, naglagay na ako ng ano, nag-publish na ako ng um, question that you can answer. So, what is your favorite tool for designing? So, so far, ito, <laughs> si, si, ano, si Ate Canva, yung winner, oh, ang daming sagot. So, so far, 32 yung sumagot. And mostly sa inyo, ito yung mga sagot. Actually, itong Canva for now, pwede na din natin siyang isama kay Canva. So, if you want to participate, all you need to do is to go to slido.com. You don't have to create an account right now. Pero kung gusto ninyong sumali sa quiz later, kasi may leaderboard tayo, you can sign up para makita natin yung name nyo. Ayan. So, closely followed by, of course, my first love, Photoshop. Ayan. Yung iba, combination na. Ang galing. Ayan. Crello. I also use Crello. So, punta tayo dun sa isang question natin. Where are you watching from? Live na din itong question na to. So, you can enter your answers as well. You can enter your city or your province. Yan. So far, dalawa pa lang yung naglalagay na, nakapaglagay ng ano nila. Ay, may nagsagot ng Photoshop dito. Ano ito? Where are you watching from? So, um, you can input your city or province. Ayan, mayroon tayong imported taga Belgium. Good afternoon, John, mommy. Ano ba? Six hours or seven hours delayed? Or, ayan, nasa future mo kami. <laughs> ayan, may taga London tayo, may taga Batangas. Di ba exciting? Natutuwa ako dito. Um, tinest ko to sa class ko kanina sa alumni. And I think natuwa din sila kasi nakikita nila my audience participation and all that. Um, so I decided to implement it as well tonight. Actually, last minute decision na to. Pero I think hindi ako nagsisi so far. 
Um, ano, sobrang nag enjoy ako. Mm, I'm not sure anong area tong the red, the red. <laughs> not sure, taga saan si mami. Naka, taga ibang planeta siguro. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. So anyway, um, punta tayo, balikan natin. Um, yung first na question, yung sinasagot nyo ngayon, where are you watching from? So, um, read the question first before you input your answer. Very important yan. Nalimbawa, nag-uusap kayo ng client, tapos may tinanong siya na question sa'yo. So, dapat presence of mind, alam mo kung ano yung sinasagutan mo para ma-impress sa'yo si client. So, konting practice-practice tayo. Ayan. And later, I'm gonna activate the other one. What is your favorite tool for designing? Don't tayo maglagay ng tools na ano na ginagamit natin. So for now, I would love to know kung nasan kayo para I would know how to greet you sa mga nasa Europe and Middle East. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Of course, sa mga nasa Asia, specifically the Philippines. Ayan. Good evening. Sana nakapag-dinner na kayo. Ang aga namin nag-dinner dito sa bahay kasi sabi ko, I have a live session later. Bawal malit. So, kaya ayan. Saktong-sakto, alas 8 on the dot. Andito tayong lahat. Ayan. Maraming salamat for deciding to spend your time with me. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be um, a wasted hour for you. So, pwede tayong lumampas ng konti, as we always do, kasi meron tayong extra na de demo later. Ayan. So, meron talaga. Hindi ko alam kung paano pa magtanggal ng ano, ha, ng sagot na mali. So, hayaan na muna natin si Photoshop. Baka si Mami na sumagot, nasa harap ni Photoshop ngayon, nag edit Ayan. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a joke. I hope you laughed. Ayan. Ayan. So, ano bang madami? Ayan. Quezon City represent. Ayan. Alright. So, mga 8.05 na. So, I guess we can start. I have a slide to share with you. Balikan natin to later kasi may question pa ako. Tapos, meron tayong pa-quiz. Ayan. So, let me go ahead and open my presentation. And, sabi ko, di ba, yung monitor ko. Hindi ko pa pala nabubuksan sa phone ko. One second. Ayan, so tag nyo na rin yung friends nyo, share nyo yung link ng ano natin, ng live para mas madaming ano, maka-join sa atin. Ayan, so let me open my presentation so you can see it. Short lang yung slide natin ngayon, 28 pages lang. Tapos ano siya, hindi siya ma-word na slide, so carry lang. Ayan, so nakikita nyo yung word cloud natin, ang tawag pala dyan ay word cloud. Yung nakikita ninyo yung... Um, lugar, kung nasan kayo, yung mga sagot ninyo nakikita. Ayan, so now we're in Canva. Alright, and then I guess we can start. Um, so far, 38 tayo. So if you can tag your friends, if you can share to them yung live session natin as well, let me know. If you are liking this um, slido.com um, audience interaction thingy, um, let me know as well so we can implement ulit sa next na live natin. Okay, so I'm not going to waste your um, time anymore. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click present. Okay, so ayan, nandito na tayo sa Canva. This is the presentation. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga presentations ninyo sa Canva and then present it automatically. Ayan, so there. Um, ayan, picture ko, tas konting konting design. So again, welcome to the course introduction for photo and video editing with brand marketing. Now, um, before we proceed, I have prepared a few house rules um, that we can implement. Um, ano na din, setting expectations na din. So number one, this is not suited for experts in graphic designing. So kung expert ka na, maybe... Um, you can spend your time somewhere else kasi baka masayang yung oras mo tapos isisi mo sa akin. Sayang naman, di ba? Um, and then second, this is for those who are still trying to determine if this is the perfect niche for them. So kung ikaw yung parang confused pa, hindi ka pa makadecide, hindi mo pa alam kung eto ba yung ano, next path mo na, then perfect ito for you. You can stay and be with me. And we can watch um, the webinar together. And then this is for those who are interested um, with the course and kung paano siya i-handle, kung ano yung mga, kung saan mag-i-enroll, ganyan, kung ilang week siya, 
kung ilang oras yung coverage, ano yung course outline, and all that. So, pag-uusapan natin yan. And then, this is meant to be a promotional webinar, but I'll make sure to provide value. May papawisan ako, wait lang. Ayan, so again, uh, magpo-promote ako, so please expect that. Meron ako mga i-mention later na mga dates, how much, yung mga ganyan, para yung mga questions ninyo masagot na. And then of course, if you have questions, please feel free to input in the comment section. Uh, meron tayong nag assist si Mami Jean, so she will be posting some questions later as well. So yung mga bonggang question ninyo, ilagay nyo na sa comments kasi baka makita ninyo yung name ninyo sa webinar natin. Ayan, and then of course, um, like I mentioned earlier, audience participation is highly encouraged. Gusto ko meron tayong dialogue, hindi lang ako yung nagsasalita. And then, um, eto, very important kasi may nagtanong na kanina, wala pong certificate itong webinar natin because this is really short. It's just one hour and a few minutes. Um, yung may certificate lang na free webinar yung kay Mami MK lang. Ayan. So, let me see. Ayan, may mga nag-greet. Happy birthday daw. Thank you so much. Kahapon yon. <laughs> Ayan. Quarantine birthday, kaya dito lang kami sa bahay. Ayan, so I guess we can go ahead and get started. Let's go to the next screen. So for this event, etong live natin ngayon, ang event code is 67847. Ayan, I think um, pinost ni Mami MK kanina yung link. So there you go. Remember this code? This code is only for this webinar. Sa next webinars natin, ibang code ulit. So, I'll make sure to inform you para makapag-participate pa rin kayo dun sa mga word cloud natin. Okay? So, sa mga hindi pa um, nakakaalam ng slido.com, it's actually used to make webinars or live events uh, much more interactive. Ayan. So, let's go. Trainer background, sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin, my name is Kesatea Peralta Nielsen. Um, you can call me Katie para short kasi ang haba-haba ng pangalan ko. Um, pero pag inad nyo ako sa Facebook, huwag nyo i-add yung Katie Nielsen kasi pang business yun, tsaka pang back up. Pang i-add ninyo yung Kesatea Egegard Nielsen na account. Ayan. So I'm wife uh, I'm a wife to Christian and a mom to Summer. So um, I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy tapos may Masters in Business Administration ako. Um, I'm a blogger. So yun yung first love ko talaga. Nagsimula ako sa blogging. Um, kasabayan pa ni mabibis yung mga edad natin ni Friendster, ni Multiply. Yan, ganyan nagbo-vlog na ako nang time na yon. And then, I'm a businesswoman, of course, for KT Paper Designs, CashReserves.com. It's an e-com store running on Shopify. Tapos yung kaka-launch lang. Actually, hindi pa nga siya na formally launched, pero it's ongoing. Um, KT Cuts and Crafts, ayan, yung kalat sa likod ko. I'm not sure kung nakikita ninyo. Uh, may mga stock dito ulit ng Cricut machines um, na kailangang i-deliver na. Ayan, I'm a certified digital marketing strategist. I'm a virtual assistant, so creative virtual assistant. I am a YouTube content creator. I have a YouTube channel where I share our family travels, tsaka mga tutorials on how to use um, graphic design tools. Um, and ang pinaka-box ano, pinaka office lagi is Canva kasi yun yung madaming updates so far and very, very exciting na updates. Tapos, I'm a, speaking of Canva, I'm a Canva certified creative, so kind of a Canva ambassador. So, ayan, we are tasked to promote Canva to everyone that we know and, ayan, sa mga communities namin. And speaking of community, I'm a community manager for Canva Creatives Philippines. Um, almost 20,000 na, konting-konti na lang, 20,000 na yung group. Um, Easel Enthusiasts PH. Of your community PH. So um, if you have not encountered those tools yet, Easel and Ofio, go ahead and try to explore it para mas madami ka ng alam. And of course, uh, Mama Vloggers, uh, Mama Vloggers community, I'm sorry. Ayan, for those mommies na may mga vlogging channels sa YouTube or Facebook. And then of course, recently lang, I think wala pang one week, 
um, plant titas and titos ph. Ayan. Kasi ano, napag-usapan lang namin ng uh, March batch na class ko about this. Ayan. Kaya kung mapapansin niyo kung member kayo doon, uh, may ibang admin na students ko dati. So, it's one way for them to be trained as well kung paano mag-manage ng community. So, yun yung purpose kung bakit ko sila sinama doon. Ayan. And of course, they love plants. Ayan. So, recent certification. So, since quarantine, maraming oras and all that, um, I actually finished all the certifications sa um, digital marketer na website. Ano, um, sleepless nights. Ayan. Nagpapawisan ako. Hindi ko alam. Nininervous yata ako. I'm not sure. Ayan. So, natapos ko yung digital marketing strategist na core, social media specialist, search marketing specialist, and so on. Hindi ko na siya imi-mention lahat. Ayan. Basta lahat ng yon tinake ko, inexaman ko, pumasa, and there you go. Tapos, of course, yung another digital marketing um, course na offered ni Google, tapos yung Open University and IAP Europe. Ayan. So, I I think marami din sa inyo na na-encourage to take the course nung libre pa siya. Kasi kinarier ko talaga siya natapusan habang libre. <laughs> so, <laughs> ayun. So, share your ano din, certifications. Let me know kung ano yung mga nakuha yung certifications sa digital marketer um, website. Ayan. So, reality check muna tayo before we proceed to the next slide. This course is beginner friendly. So, lagi kong ano to, nai-encounter na question. Etong course ba na to, big, uh, ano, pwede sa beginners? Pwede ba to sa hindi college graduate? Pwede ba to sa high school lang? Yung mga ganyan-ganyan na question. So, ang answer dyan is yes, pwedeng-pwede. Bakit kaya pwede? Kasi hindi naman kailangan tapos ka ng college para matutunan mo yung mga tools na gagamitin natin. Hindi din kailangan tapos ka sa course na fine arts, yung mga ganon, multimedia management para matutunan mo yung mga tools na kailangan natin gamitin for us to be able to get inside or get deeper into graphic design. So, yon Pwede sa beginners, hindi kailangan college graduate, even high school graduate, hindi nire require Ang kailangan, marunong ka ng mga tools na kailangan gamitin. Ayan. So, if you have questions, let me know, ha? Hello, ayan. Babati muna tayo. Babati tayo. Ayan, may greet ulit. Thank you so much. 22 na po ako. So, nagtatanong kung ilang taon na ako. <laughs> hindi, ka, hindi ako marunong magsinungaling. Hindi totoo yung 22 joke lang yan. Ayan, good evening. Ayan, si Mami Ana, kaka-enroll niya lang. Ayan, I can't wait to welcome you sa class. Ayan, she's from Kuwait. Okay, so then we go to, this course is for you if you want to learn a skill that you can use without being hired by a client. So, parang confused ka na. Ba't pa ako mag-aaral? Or ba't ko pa take yung course na yun kung hindi naman pala ako magkaka-client? So, ang ibig sabihin ng statement na to is that kahit wala kang client, pwede mong gamitin yung matututunan mo sa course na to. Bakit? Kasi, pwede kang ikaw mismo gumawa ng mga projects and then saka mo siya ibenta. May mga ganyan akong naging students, yung mga naghihintay ng clients, ganyan. Gumagawa sila ng Etsy accounts, gumagawa sila ng creative market accounts nila, ganyan. So, they offer the services or they contact business owners or they join um, competitions, yung mga community challenges. Actually, there are a few na na na-hire na nag-participate doon sa community challenge sa Canva Creatives Philippines. Um, and meron na ding business, um, small business owner na kumontak sa akin um, to offer jobs for those na um, kasama sa community. Ayan. And then may napili na silang tatlo na pinag... May napili na pinagpipilian. Ayan. May pinagpipilian silang tatlo na iha-hire na nila. Ayan. So, um, this course is for you as well if you want to stop paying for graphic designers for your own business. Ayan. Kung gusto mo mag-launch ng business, kung gusto mo... Or may business ka na ngayon and gusto mong ayusin yung mga pinupost mo online, kung gusto mong i-develop um, na yung logo mo, kung gusto mong magkaroon ng sarili mong YouTube channel, ganyan. So, eto na yung the best for you kasi hindi mo na kailangang magbayad ng mahal sa mga graphic designer. 
Ayan. And then, of course, you want to, um, if you doubled into graphic design before, but still you don't know the principles of graphic design, kasi ang graphic design naman, hindi lang basta-basta na nakagawa ka ng project, yun na yun, graphic design na hindi. So, may mga principles tayo na pag-aaralan para mas ma-maximize ninyo yung time ninyo at para mas magamit ninyo yung skill na meron kayo sa paggawa ng mga design. This course is for you if you are a beginner and you want to learn something new. So again, hindi ito para sa mga expert. So kung expert ka na, you will not find value in the course anymore, I think. Siguro kung expert ka na ngayon, ang, ma ang makukuha mo na lang na value is yung support that you will get from me. So yon. kung may mga question ka, pwede kong sagutin and all that. But then again, it's not going to be practical for you to still enroll kung expert ka na. This course is for beginners and intermediate users. Um, and also, this course is for you if you don't have previous experience and you want someone to guide you. So, ako na yon. Ako yung mag-guide sa'yo. Um, your classmates would also be, um, be able to guide you kung magtatanong ka sa kanila. Um, this course is for you if you don't have previous experience and you want... I inulit ko na. If you want to step away from the template group, kasi ngayon... Um, asa tayo sa templates. So, itong course na to, ituturo ko sa inyo para wag na tayong umasa sa templates. Um, start making your own templates. Dapat kayo na, um, once you graduate in my course, dapat kayo na yung nagbibigay ng templates na gagamitin ng ibang tao. Ayan. But of course, kung gusto ninyong ano, immediate way to create your projects, um, then you can use the templates. However, um, this is one thing I can tell you. Feeling ko, pag-graduate mo sa course ko, hindi mo nagugusto yung gumamit ng template kasi gusto mo ng um, mas unique yung mga designs na ilalabas mo. Ayan. Um, this course is for you if you want to learn at your own pace. So, ayan, meron tayong platform na bagong-bago. Um, pwede na ninyong matapos yung course at your own pace and time. And of course, if you want to have a graphic design mentor, and so much more. So, ayun. Hindi lang ito yung value na makukuha mo dito sa course. Sobrang madami. And I'm sure um, nababasa nyo na yun um, sa mga comments and sa mga feedback ng students ko in the past. Ayan. And then, course information. Ano yung mapag-aaralan natin? Brand marketing. So, we will learn how to use, to create brand boards. Ayan. So, um, color palettes, pricing. How can you set yourself apart from the pack? Paano maging unique? Ayan. Claiming your online presence. So, yung online presence mo, yung mga online accounts. Portfolio and stock photos. We will learn those sa brand marketing. Sa so video editing, we will be learning iMovie for Mac users. And then Filmora 9. Ang bagong Filmora ngayon, kung you are a Filmora user and hindi mo pa alam, kakalabas lang first week of June, Filmora 9.5 na version. So you can upgrade kung mayroon kang subscription. That's for free, wala ka nang babayaran. And available for Windows and Mac users ito. And then we will also talk about Powtoon, Ofio, and then I'm planning to incorporate Crello this time around. So, so July batch. And then music sources, we will also learn that. And then sa so photo editing naman, ang main, pinaka main topic natin would be Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. Ayan, Canva, Easel. And then ang free naman, I will be providing you um, free courses for Adobe Illustrator. After Effects, and Lightroom. So, introductory courses yung mga yun. So, just in case you are interested to explore other Adobe tools. Yeah. So, any questions so far? Wala pa namang questions yata. Okay. So, we can proceed. Um, schedule of the training class. All videos have been migrated to the Filipina home-based moms learning pl platform. So, dun sa ano, fhmoms.pcitech.com.ph. You will be able to access the course materials in one area. So, yun yung sa platform plus a backup group. So, meron tayong backup ready just in case uh, maghang or hindi nyo ma-access yung mga videos sa platform. Hindi kayo mawawala ng panonoorin kasi meron tayong backup to group. All live calls will be on a per week basis. So ask me anything type since hindi na tayo sabay-sabay on a weekly basis kasi pag nag-access kayo sa platform, pwede na ninyo mapanood lahat ng video. So kung ano yung questioning, questions ninyo for that week, we would be able to discuss it.
And then all uploaded videos can be viewed at any time on demand. So hindi nyo na kailangan magpaalam sa akin. Pwede na kayong manood ng mga videos anytime you want, anytime you have um, the availability to do so. Ayan. So again, reality check. This course requires effort. So kailangan ng effort, kailangan ng conscious, conscious effort. Kasi kailangan mong mag-aral, kailangan mong mag-practice. Hindi lang siya basta manood ka na lang ng video, pagkataas ng video, marunong ka na. Ang mangyayari, um, after the video, my um, recommendation is for you to practice para ma-apply mo yung mga techniques na, matut na, matut na matututunan mo sa mga videos na isi-share ko. Ayan. So, eto yung course outline natin. So, bago na, um, andito yung mga topics. Um, if you are interested to download um, the course outline, you can go to um, bit.ly forward slash learn with kt underscore co. Co being course outline. Ayan. So, make sure na small letters lahat kasi ang bit.ly na link, is case sensitive. So, kung mali yung malagay mo, kung capital letter yung malagay mo na L dito, hindi mo siya makikita. mag error yung link. So, make sure bit.ly forward slash learn with KT underscore CO. Hindi ito hyphen ha, underscore siya. Just to make sure na uh, mapunta kayo sa tamang link. So, ayan yung mga topics natin. So far, meron tayong 104 total na videos already kasi nagdagdag na ako ng dalawang bago. Um, dati 102, ngayon 104 na. Ayan. So, ito yung mga topic. And then another. So, four pages lahat yung topics natin. Ayan. So, if you want to have a copy of this, again, you can download it. It's available. I have it ready for you already. Ayan. So, again, reality check. This course requires output. So, hindi lang basta-basta. Again, manood lang ng videos, tas may certificate ka na. Meron tayong project na kailangan ipasa para makuha natin ang certificate of completion. Um, kasi very important na meron tayong makitang output at the end of the course para makita natin yung effectiveness ng course at kung natutunan mo ba yung mga techniques na naituro ko. So, I will be discussing the list of projects um, sa ano natin, orientation. So, meron tayong class orientation. Okay. So, eto siya. After the course, anong mangyayari? Meron kang certificate of completion. So, everyone that would be able to finish all the videos, submit the projects, will be able to receive certificate of completion. Um, you can also join yung Facebook group, which is a group for all my students. So, yung simula nung July 2018 up to present, you can join this. It's FH Moms Photo and Video Editing with Brand Marketing Alumni. So, you just have to look for that group. Um, and you can join that if you are my student. And then, of course, you have access to our course material. Hindi na ito lifetime, ha? Ano na ito? One-year access to course materials. Um, and then, um, after one year, you will be paying a little bit just for the maintenance of website. And of course, there would be um, apprenticeship opportunities. The thing with apprenticeship opportunities, since output-based tayo is that depende kay client kung i-hire ka niya or hindi. So, merong mga ibang hindi ma-hire. Meron namang ibang ma-hire ng paulit-ulit kasi syempre maganda yung output nila. So, make sure na maganda yung output ninyo yung nakalagay sa portfolio para ma-hire kayo ni client. So again, this course is very, very fulfilling. Pagkatapos mong mag-design, yung happiness iba. Hindi mo siya maipaliwanag. <laughs> Ayun. So outright, kahit na hindi, hindi pa nakikita ni client yung ginawa mo, ikaw mismo sa sarili mo, alam mo na yes, natapos ko siya. Nagawa ko siya, pwede ko nang ipakita kay client. Ayan. And I'm a graphic designer, then what? So saan ka makakakita ng mga jobs? Saan ka mag apply um, Word of mouth or referrals, very, very good yan. And then social media presence, kasi mag-establish tayo ng social media branding ninyo, ba? So gagawa tayo ng mga social media accounts ninyo. And for you posting, you interacting with your audience, with your target market, you would be able to get clients from there. 
So, may mga ibang ano lang, nagko-comment-comment lang sila, and then nagiging clients na. And then, of course, you can create online um, accounts sa mga job platforms like Upwork, online jobs, ganyan. You can also create Fiverr accounts, Etsy accounts, yan, and marami pang iba. And then, ano yung trabaho ng, ano, ng makakatapos sa course na to? Of course, you can be a photo and video editor, ano na yan, given, but that doesn't end there. Since marunong ka nang mag-design, pwede ka nang maging social media manager na marunong din gumawa ng content. So, di ba, no, nasa yun na yung skill. And then, ads creator, pwede kang gumawa nun kung sa e-com field naman. Multimedia artist or animator, vir virtual assistant, Ayan, web designer, t-shirt designer, um, influencer, pwede din. So, pwede ka nang maging ano, um, ambassador ni Canva kung uh, mapansin ka ni Canva. And then, design ambassador, ayan, content creator, you can have your own channel already. And then, of course, pwede ka ding instructional materials designer and so many more. Um, mga students ko in the past, usually yung ano nila, trabaho nila, um, so, sa social media, and then mga taga-design ng invitations, flyers, brochures, logos, ano pa may mga ginagawa nila. Uh, mga menu, ganyan, tarp designers, yan. Um, may iba pa, resume writers, yan. Pwede din, kasi pwede kang mag-design yan sa kanta. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, wala yata. Alright, so we can proceed to the next para diretso tayo sa demo later. Um, ayan, skills required. You need to be curious, resourceful. Hindi ko na siya i-discuss lahat isa-isa ha kasi I'm sure naman na intindihan nyo naman anong ibig sabihin itong mga adjectives dito. Passionate and driven. Ayan, open for feedback. Able to handle critics kasi ayan, hindi natin mapiplease lahat-lahat ng tao. Minsan maja-judge pa tayo. Pero kiber, um, just know na kung ginawa mo yung design na yon, go ahead and continue this signing. You have to be patient. You have to be hungry for knowledge. It's not gonna be, ano, na after ng course natin, titigil na yung mundo for you. It's going to be a continuous learning process. And of course, you have to be creative and you have to be an innovator. Ayan, let me just go ahead. Um, titignan ko. First time to join. Ayan, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate your time and effort to join. Ayan. Alright, so good to know you can work anywhere. So ako, kahit saan, basta merong internet, merong computer na gumagana, um, I can work. I've tried working sa airport, I've tried working while well, on vacation, sa gitna ng gubat, basta may internet and all. Um, yung gitna ng gubat, ano yon sa Europe ko na try. Kasi kahit sa gitna ng gubat, meron silang internet connection. <laughs> may reception. <laughs> Kakaloka, di ba? Ayan. So, you don't need a degree. I mentioned this earlier. You don't. You need a portfolio of your designs, of course, and you can dictate your own price. You can dictate your own time frame. Kapag may mga nag inquire sa yon, and you can earn unlimited amount of money depending on your skills, resources, and time management. So, pweding pwede. Also, I would recommend na mas madami kang part-time kaysa sa nag-iisang full-time. Kasi pag nawala yung isang client mo, hanap ka na naman ulit. So, mas maganda yung madami kang um, clients na part-time kasi uh, mas maximize mo din yung skills mo kasi natsa-challenge ka na iba't iba yung designs na ginagawa mo. So, I would recommend that. If you ask me, what would you recommend? Part-time or full-time, I would encourage you to get several part-time clients. So, I have more than 20, baka may nakikinig na client. Ayan. So, 20 plus yung clients ko ngayon sa Upwork pa lang. Ayan. Kaya, pag may nag inquire ngayon kung kaya ko pa bang gumawa ng mga designs, ganyan, uh, pinapasa ko na sa mga students ko kasi hindi na kaya ng oras. Pero, ayun. <laughs> um, ayan, may question tayo. How about sa topic ng Adobe Illustrator? Dapat po ba mag-subscribe sa Adobe? Um, once you um, subscribe sa all apps ng Adobe, 
um, Creative Cloud kasama na lahat-lahat ng Adobe software doon. So, we will have a few, I think a couple of videos about Illustrator, pero hindi yun yung focus ng course natin. Yun ay bonus topics lamang. Um, take mo yung free na introduction to uh, Illustrator if you want to learn some more. Pero hindi siya extensively madidiscuss sa class natin. Ayan. Yun naman, sa question naman na, um, portfolio versus resume. If you will um, be serious about graphic design, um, I can tell you right now, you can actually forget your resume already. Pagandahin mo na lang yung portfolio mo and you can get hired. Um, when it comes to interviews naman, 9 out of 10, hindi na ako na-interview ng client. Pinapapasa na lang nila ako ng sample ng works ko which is inside my portfolio and pwede na akong ma-hire. And na-hire na din ako before. May, meron nga sobrang bilis. Parang ano lang, sabi niya lang, pwede mo ba i-send sa akin yung portfolio mo? Sinend ko, tapos nagustuhan niya, hinare niya na ako kagad. So, wala nang tanong-tanong and all that. Ako pa yung mas madaming tinanong kay client. So, yon If you are asking portfolio versus resume, if into graphic design ka, you can forget about resume, concentrate on your portfolio already. Ayan. How long? Um, ayan. So, 21 to 35 hours um, kasi madami tayong videos. Um, kung mabilis ka, hindi ka na nagre-replay and all that, 21 hours. But of course, for sure, I know kasi based on feedback and based on sa mga nakakausap kong students ko, um, may, minsan, inuulit nila yung video para mas maging familiar sila. So, ayan. So, yung 35 baka minimum pa din yun, hindi pa siya maximum. Pero around that time frame, kasi aside from videos, meron pa tayong articles na dapat basahin. Ayan. So, very time-consuming siya. Um, but, lahat ng um, topics na involve, meron at meron kang makukuha at ma-apply mo siya when you will be designing already. Ayan. Um, how to enroll? Ito yung link. You can go to bit.ly forward slash FHMOMS capital letters lahat underscore enrollment underscore form. So, um, I can provide yung link later, ipopost ko siya sa comment section para one click na lang if you wanted to enroll sa class. Ayan. So, enrollment open sa June and July enrollees. Uh, sa June, hindi na pala kasi nag-start na. So, yung magsa-start sa July 6 na, um, July enrollees na yon. So, I'm just gonna read yung official na document na shinare din sa group natin. So, open pa yung mga courses na iba. Lahat-lahat, I think, open for July. So, you can enroll. Um, you can check the module for our course. Yun yung link na binigay ko kanina. Yung learn with Katie underscore CO. Um, sa course outline kasi hindi kompleto doon yung nakalagay na course outline for my course. So, um, I'm gonna request si Mami G na i-update yon after our live session. Um, ano yung mode of payments na accepted? BDO, BPI, PayPal, and pwede din GCash, pero diretsyo sa bank ni Mami MK. Ayan. Uh, makikita nyo ang account details sa enrollment form. So, once you click the enrollment form, nandun na yung mga account details na pwede ninyong gamitin or pwede ninyong um, paglipatan ng pera. Lipang paglipatan, ang lalim ng paglipatan. Ayan. So, magkano ang course? 5,000. Ayan. Um, you will be trained by an expert on each niche and skills. Plus, it comes with a month's extensive learning. So, ayan. Extensive yung learning. Madami tayong topics. Marami tayong pag-uusapan. Meron tayong live Q&A. You can reach me anytime. You can send me your questions and I will be able to get back to you. Ayan. And um, basahin yung terms and make sure na tama yung in-enroll ninyong course kasi bawal maglipat. Nasa terms and conditions yun. So, kung ano yung na-enroll mo, um, yun na yun yung course mo na ititake by July 6. Okay. Um, you have to wait for 48 hours pag-enroll mo para ma-process and ma-verify um, kung pumasok na ba yung payment mo doon sa account na um, yung mode of payment. So, ayun. You have to wait. You have to be patient. You can also alert me para I can help you follow up kung 48 hours na wala pa din yung ano mo. Wala pa din yung confirmation mo. And you will receive the access um, to the platform in a separate email. Expect the email on July 3 if you will be enrolling between June 15 to June 30. 
So, sa mga July batch. Ayan. So, system requirements. Ayan. So, you can access these links. Pwede nyo screenshot para makita ninyo and ma-check kung um, okay ba yung computer na gagamitin ninyo. The reason why I am really recommending na pasok yung, ano mo, yung system yung computer specs mo is because um, kailangan natin ng medyo mabilis na computer, medyo advanced. Kasi kapag hindi advanced yung computer mo, babagal. So, hindi mo din ma-enjoy yung lessons natin or hindi mo ma-enjoy yung pag-edit kasi laging nagahahang. So, mas maganda kung saktong-sakto na, lalo na kung video editing, kailangan mo ng mabilis na computer. Um, dapat meron siyang at least 2 gigahertz na processor, yung mga ganyan, 4 gig at least na RAM. Ayan. So, if you don't know how to check, kahit meron na nitong uh, ganito, yung mga text specifications, na sa website, you can send it to me, um, send it to me via, via PM, tapos i-check ko, tutulungan ko kayo para ma-confirm natin before you enroll. Kasi um, the last thing I want to happen is na nakapag-enroll ka na, tapos yung computer mo pala, hindi ka kayanin yung mga tools na gagamitin natin. So, sayang naman. So, let's ano muna, let's talk and let's check before you will enroll if you are in doubt sa specs ng computer na ginagamit mo. Ayan. Um, support groups, you can join Canva Creatives Philippines. Ayan. You can also take a screenshot para hindi mo na kailangan memorize. Um, Easel Enthusiasts PH, Ofyo Community PH, and eto bago, Design Bold Community PH. You can also join Katie Paper Designs Group. Inopen ko na siya. And then, of course, yung Mama Vloggers Community. Ayan. So, madaming... Uh, ako lahat yung admin yan. So, <laughs> you can join um, and it can be your extra um, support group. And also, I'm planning to open this uh, para makapag-practice kayo na maging community manager soon. So, lalo na yung mga social media managers na gustong mag-practice sa communities. Ayan. So, you can join and I will open this to my students in the future. So, ayan. Um, Canva Pro free trial. So, kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-try ng Canva Pro, you can um, go to bit.ly forward slash Canva Pro Creatives. Um, hindi na natin siya pag-uusapan ng uh, matagal. Yun na yun. And then, Adobe Creative Cloud. Yan. Kung gusto mo naman makita kung magkano yung legit na subscription for Adobe Creative Cloud, you can go um, and check this link, bit.ly forward slash learnwithkatie underscore Adobe PS. Um, until now, nag, uh, ano pa rin, pumapayag pa rin si Adobe kapag may nagre-request na ma-freeze yung payment from 60 to 90 days. So, take advantage of that. Sayang din yung matitipid ninyo. Yung, ano, yung mapapayagan lang na mag-payment freeze, yun lang yung my current na subscriptions. Or kung kakasubscribe mo kanina, confirm na yung account mo, later pwede ka na makipag-chat sa Adobe Support and they will grant you yung freeze, freeze ng payment because of the pandemic. Ayan. So, marami nang naka-ano nito, marami nang na-freeze na yung payment nila. Um, because nag-request sila sa chat support. Ayan. So, inom lang ako saglit ng tubig. Hmm. Ayan. Interesting question. Sa paggawa ng portfolio, mas advisable po ba nakalagay doon yung iba-ibang project, like sample ng flyers? Yes, that's correct, Mami Ana. You can... Um, add yung mga projects na nagawa mo, but not all. Piliin mo lang yung mga bonggang-bonggang ano, samples mo, yung pinakamagaganda sa lahat. Siguro you can make a list, tapos um, ano, piliin mo yung mga top three. Ayan. Huwag mo naman i-overwhelm si client, nakitang-kita niya na lahat-lahat. So ano lang, mga three of each kind. Ayan, maximum na yon. And then, another question na interesting, pwede po ba mag-join sa mga communities na yun? Yes, you are very much welcome to join. Hindi siya exclusive to my students. Yung exclusive lang to my students would be yung monthly na group. Yung halimbawa, um, yung transition pad, ayan, exclusive yan to my students. Yung um, alumni group, ayan, exclusive din siya to my students. But the tools na, ano, na communities, 
it's open. Welcome to every for everyone to join. Ayan. So my Canva, my easel, design bold, of you, my yung mama vloggers. If you want to um, communicate or if you want to network with other vloggers, na mommies then, ayan. So you can join that as well. And then, and of course, my YouTube channel also, if you are not ready to enroll yet, or even if you are enrolled already, you can also go to my YouTube channel. Search nyo lang, Katie Paper Designs. Ayan. Um, and then you can um, watch my videos doon. Merong mga tutorials. So, ito yung mga samples. Um, thematic. Ayan. So, if you are wondering ano yung thematic, you can go to the to the channel right now and watch that video. Bakit nandiyan yung itsura ni Michelle Fan? Ayan. So, you can watch that. And then, how to create stop motion video. Ayan, my tutorial doon. How to create thin lines on Canva. If gumagamit ka ng Canva and until now, medyo nalilito ka pa rin. Paano nga ba gumawa ng thin lines? Ayan, meron tayong video doon. Um, aesthetic music for your video. So, what can you include in your videos kapag ka, ano, anong mga vi music ang pwede mong gamitin. Ayan, Canva desktop installation. Ayan, yung gamit ko ngayon is Canva desktop. Pasample tayo ng, ano, ng confetti para dun sa mga kaka-join lang sa FH Moms. And first time na nag-join sa webinar ko, ayan, may pa-confetti tayo. So, how do you do that? So, just in case you are going to use Canva for your presentations in the future, ayan, you can actually um, just press the letter C on your keyboard habang naka-presentation mode ka kagaya ngayon. And the confetti will fall down. Ayan. Great, di ba? Saya. So, meron ka ng special effects. Halimbawa, nagpa-present ka sa boss mo. Tapos, meron kang isi-share na panalong, ano, <laughs> panalong achievement for the week. Ganyan, oh. Bigyan mo siya ng pa-confetti. Ayan. Um, let me see. Ayaw niya. Okay, letter ano naman? Halimbawa, wait, present natin ulit. Balik tayo. Okay, halimbawa naman, gusto mong uh, may countdown. So, i-press mo yung, alimbawa, one minute. Press mo yung one. Ayan. So, halimbawa, may pinasagutan ka sa audience mo. Ayan. Answer this question. Ganyan. Tapos gusto mo may countdown. Ay, nakikita nyo ba sa upper right-hand corner ng screen? So, ayan yung countdown. So, sa mga teachers natin na nanonood ngayon, lalo na um, ngayon kasi online na yung mga classes, you can implement this one. Let me see if I can move it somewhere, ha? I'm not sure if I can, I don't think I can move it. Hindi siya na mo-move. Uh, medyo natatabunan siya nung logo ng FH Moms. Pero kapag hindi ka naglagay ng logo, ayan, ayan natanggal yung logo. Thank you, Mami Jean. <laughs> so, makikita nyo siya. So, kung halimbawa tapos na lahat ng mga students yung nasumagot, um, control C daw. Tingnan nga, hindi kasi ako Windows. Try ko, command, ayaw. So, hindi siya gumagana sa keyboard ko. I-test ko later. I'm using Mac kasi. So, control doesn't work for me. Um, I will check later if it's gonna work. Ayan. So, tapos na siya. Um, and then, I'll X out para matanggal. Kung gusto mo na mas mahaba, pwede din. Two. Ayan. Pwede din. So, X out ko na siya. Hindi na natin hihintayin matapos. And then, three. Pwede. I think, let's see, kung pwede ang four. Pwede din four. Kung gusto mo mas mahaba. O sige, essay yung sagot. Five minutes, sagutan nyo yung tanong na to. Gawan nyo ng, ano, ng book review or book report in five minutes ito. Yan, sa mga teachers natin. Perfect na perfect itong timer para nakikita ng mga students ninyo. Ayan. Um, ano pa ba? May mga videos din na looking for Canva keywords. Ayan, tuturuan ko kayo paano maghanap ng keywords. And then how to resize files on Canva. Canva videos inside letter frames. Ito, sobrang naging ano siya. Naging love siya ng madaming mummies. Um, madaming nag-share ng ganito nakita ko. Ayan, and then text effects as well. So, ano muna, be very, very patient. Hindi pa siya um, applied to all Canva accounts. Um, ano pa din, staggered yung implementation. Pakunti-kunti, and, and ang dami ng subscribers ni Canva ngayon. So, ang joke ko nga, nasa level ng patient. So, habang hindi ka patient, wala pa siya sa account mo. Ayan, but that that's a joke only, ha? Ano, depende pa rin kay Canva. Kung 
um, kailan niya ilalagay sa account mo. But let's just wait kasi hindi pa naman lahat meron yan. So kung hindi nyo pa siya nakikita sa account ninyo, that means hindi pa siya na-implement on a rollout dun sa account mo mismo. Ayan. Um, is Filmora 9.5 a good sub ab substitute for Adobe Premiere for video editing? It depends on your editing needs. Ako kasi sa mga ganito, yung tutorials and all, pak na pak na si Filmora 9.5. Hindi na, hindi ko na kailangan ng, ano, mag-spend ng too much time kasi meron na siya mga available na effects, um, which is in the film stocks, ayan, yung mga intros and all that, hindi na kailangan mano-mano. And yung mga clients ko naman na nagpapagawa ng video, um, ano na siya, satisfied na sila sa output. Um, magagamit mo na lang si Premiere Pro kapag yung required mismo ng client mo is gawin yung video sa Premiere Pro. So, ayun. Pero, as it is, I can highly recommend Filmora 9.5 already. Plus, meron siyang lifetime plan. So, hindi siya monthly na lifetime. 30% off, ayan, for 2,000 something. Hindi abot ng 3,000. Lifetime ka nang may account with Filmora 9. Filmora 9. So, pag nag-update sila na nag-update, pwede pa din, covered ka kung may subscription ka na, and you can install it up to two computers. So, two computers of the same operating system. So, kung meron kang Windows, na-install mo na siya doon, tapos bumili ka ulit ng bagong laptop, running on Windows din, pwede. Pwede mo siyang gamitan at the same time, one account. Hindi pwede kung halimbawa meron kang um, PC, tapos running on Windows, and then you buy a MacBook, hindi siya pwedeng ganun. So, dapat parehong operating system. Ayan. Um, and marami pang iba. Hindi lang ito yung videos doon. You can visit the channel. Again, you can look for KT Paper Designs. Ayan. Kung hindi pa kayo ready to enroll in the course, you can go ahead and explore kung ano yung mga um, tutorials na nandun um, sa channel ko. Okay? Ayan. Is my question, is this recorded daw? Yes po, this is recorded. You will be able to watch the replay after our live um, session. Ayan, so free online tutorial tayo. I think, ilan, ilan pa? Ayan, meron pa tayong oras. I think makocover pa natin siya. So if you are ready, I'm ready. <laughs> so ang topic natin for today would be, let me just check my notes ha. Isishare ko sa inyo yung bagong feature ni Photoshop. Ito, na-share ko na sa mga students ko. Nag-live na ako nung, um, ano siya, pinakita siya. Um, online um, ni Photoshop nung ni-release siya kasi may mga bago. And then we will also try to work with mockups later in a little bit kung kaya pa ng oras natin. If not, then I'm just gonna record a video and share that with you. So let's go to Photoshop. Ayan. Um, ito yung bago na Photoshop already. Kung hindi nyo pa na-update, nag-release na ng update, I think kahapon or kanina, so, go ahead and go to your Adobe Creative Cloud account and upgrade it already. May bago ng icon si Photoshop. Ito na siya. Nandito sa baba. I'm not sure nakikita nyo. Punta tayo dito sa ano, para mas makita ninyo yung itsura niya. Ito na siya. Um, ano, rounded corners na lahat. Tapos, um, ito na yung background niya and ito na yung makikita mong icon. So, may iba na siya compared to the previous icon that you may have. Um, Adobe Photoshop 2020 pa din naman siya. Ayan. Um, and kung napapansin nyo, lahat halos nung icon, nagbago na ng itsura. Ayan. Pati yung Premiere Pro, nagbago din siya ng icon. Ayan. After Effects, Audition, Rush, Media Encoder, lahat. Ayan. Um, Again, free lang ito if you already have a subscription. If you are using a crack version, um, you won't have this update available for you. Ayan. Okay, let me see kung may iba pang question na na-skip ako. Okay, I think wala. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let me show you how to remove, um, how to separate your subject, how to select your subject in your design. So, let's open Photoshop. And then, ito yung napili ko kasi, di ba, pag buhok yung pag pinag-uusapan, mahirap talaga siyang tanggalin. Um, of course, meron ng remove.bg or yung removal ng background sa Canva. Or meron din dito yung background removal. Kaya lang, 
um, eto, ang gagawin natin, hindi tayo magre-remove ng background. Ihiwalay natin yung ati girl sa background niya. So, gagawin natin yan ngayon. Um, looks like complicated yung screen ko kasi naka-on yung grid, but I'm gonna remove that para makita natin yung picture. Ayan. So, this is the same sample that I shared with my class actually nung nag-demo ako sa kanila. And I'm also gonna give this to you. I'll post the link of um, Ate Girl's downloadable photo para mapag-practice nyo siya if you want to do that on your end. Ayan. So, let me just see my notes para yung kompleto yung masabi ko sa inyo. At hindi ko makalimutan. Ayan. So, hair, very, very difficult to work with um, unless you are an expert in Photoshop already. Um, if not difficult, kung hindi ka naman nahihirapan, time-consuming naman siya. So, ayan. Um, it takes a lot of time for you to fine-tune. Yung, lalo na ganito, ganitong pagkakulot, mahirap tong i-fine-tune. Um, Kung nadadalian ka naman, it, you would spend time. Na-release ito, June 2020 lang. So, kaya ayan, isi-share ko na sa inyo. It, um, this feature will allow you to select the most prominent subject in an image. So, pwedeng tao, pwedeng animals, ayan, yung mga may mga pets, ayan, perfect itong feature na to. May mga vehicles, toys, and so much more. Um, ano yung ways to access this? May tatlong ways, pero ang ipapakita ko lang sa inyo ngayon, yung pinakamadali. Okay? So, wag na natin i-complicate ang mga bagay-bagay. Kung pwede namang madalian lang, why not? So, nung nag-demo ako sa class ko, I'm not sure if some of them are watching right now. I think nanonood sila. Hindi pa updated yung Photoshop ko. So, in-update ko na siya. So, medyo may change na very, very light na mapapansin kung nanood na kayo nung, yung, yung tutorial ko sa alumni page. Adjust ko lang. Okay. So, eto siya. Ito yung picture natin. Kinuha ko to sa freepick.com. I have a subscription there, so I'm able to use this without any attribution required. Um, all you need to do is to actually make sure to unlock yung, ano natin, yung layer. Ayan. And then we go to select. Okay. And then click subject. Ito. Left click, ha? Ayan. Tapos, Photoshop will work. It's magic. Ayan. So, there you go. Meron na tayong selection. The good thing about this is that ilang seconds lang tayo naghintay, di ba? Wala pa yatang 10 seconds na select niya na. Now, the bad thing, well, technically, hindi naman siya bad. This is not perfect kasi ano lang siya, AI. So, um, from codes lang before and all that. So, dahil dito, hindi na siya masama kasi AI lang naman yung nagpapagana. Plus, of course, diba, sobrang tipid sa oras. Ayan. So, I will move it para makita ninyo. Ayan. So, nakikita ba ninyo? Pati yung, yung mga tikwas ng buhok niya. Ano bang tawag dyan? Yung frizzy hair, hair niya nakikita. Ayan. ba? So, ano pa bang ayusin mo dito? Ayan, naayos yun na din yung kamay. Kung napanood nyo yung um, tutorial ko, yung shiner ko sa class ko, ayan. Um, nag-ayos pa tayo dito and then dito sa hair, pero sa bagong update, mas na-fine-tune na ngayon yung AI niya. Ayan. So, what we can do, um, open tayo ng, ano, ng isang file dito para mas makita ninyo and ma-appreciate ninyo yung um, kinuha nating part ng picture na ito. Kasi pag nag-remove background ka dito, medyo mahirap ito. Kasi yung background niya, medyo complicated din. Iba't ibang colors and all that. So, let's go ahead and open a new file. Ay, hindi pala open na ganun. Sorry. Um, new. Ayan. And then, let's open uh, 1,000 by 1,080 1080 by 1,080 pixels, which is the perfect size for Instagram post. Ayan. Remember nyo yan kasi lalabas yan sa quiz natin later. Sa short quiz. And then, I'm going to um, add a background. So, punta tayo sa demo. And then, makikita natin dito yung file na gagamitan ko. So, I'm gonna open it. Ito siya. And then, we are just gonna resize it. Itong photo na to or itong illustration na to, eh, ba background, ganyan, galing din sa free pick. Okay, so we're good with that. And then, I'm going to transfer si ate doon sa tab. 
So, medyo malaki si ate kasi malaki yung file. So, lilitan natin siya. I'm just gonna use free transform. Okay, and then, pag pinaliitan, kung nanonood kayo ng mga ano, tutorial ko or mga demos, ibig sabihin, pag nililitan, we're dragging it inwards. Okay, so ito na siya. Position na lang natin. Pag mga ganitong picture, tas putol yung katawan, huwag nyo ilagay sa center ha. Mas maganda siya pag nilagay sa um, corner or dito sa gitna. Basta yung ending ng uh, photo mo para mas maganda siya tingnan. Hindi siya parang manananggal na nakalutang. Ayan. So, there. I-adjust lang natin siya ng konti. Okay. And then, dagdagan ko siya ng drop shadow. Okay. Very dark yung drop shadow natin. Litan natin yung size. Tapos, distance. There. I think this is perfectly. Yung, yung opacity niya, i-reduce ko ng konti. Okay, so there you go. Um, pwede na ako maglagay ng simpleng quotation somewhere. And pwede ko na siyang i-post sa Instagram ko or sa Facebook. Pwede din. Ayan, so, di ba, ano na, sobrang dali na lang because of the select subject feature ni Photoshop. Ayan, mas pinaganda na siya, mas pinadali. Before, medyo hindi pa talaga siya perfect. But of course, Photoshop is trying to um, innovate some more. Um, and that's why naglalabas sila ng mga updates time and time again. Ayan, so, there. Any questions about this before we proceed to the next? I think we still have time. One minute. <laughs> kaya pa. I think kaya pa natin. Wala naman yata ang nakaschedule na ano, na next na webinar. Ayan. Yung sa dedicated sa Canva, I think sa Canva na lang ako magla-live doon. Baka mapalo ako ni Mami MK pag sumobra tayo ng one hour. Ayan. <laughs> okay. Yung next actually natin is, sige, sa Canva pa rin to, pero isi-share ko, yung YouTube channel art, kasi very, very important. So, ano yung YouTube channel art? Punta tayo sa YouTube quickly. Ano yung channel art? So, ang channel art, yun yung nakikita mo dito sa taas. Ito yung channel art. Sometimes called the banner of your channel. Ayan. So, very important siya kasi this is the place where you can actually communicate or convey your branding. Dito mo rin pwedeng i-convey yung channel offers mo. Ayan. So, ano yung offering ko dito? You can learn with me if you watch my videos. Ayan. And you can convey how often you will post. Pwede din ako maglagay. I'm actually thinking of editing this already. So, maglalagay ako ng information about it. Dadagdagan ko siya. And general info that you want visitors to know. So, halimbawa, um, regular ka nang mag-post. Ako kasi wala pang schedule. So, ikaw, halimbawa, once a week ka nag upload Every Mondays, new video, ganyan. Pwede mo ding ilagay dito. Para at first glance, alam na nung mga um, users mo or nung followers mo or nang subscribers mo kung ano yung i-expect nila. Um, na makuha sa channel mo. So, very important, real estate siya sa YouTube channel mo kasi pag bukas ng channel mo, eto yung makikita ng mga followers mo or yung mga possible subscribers mo. Ayan, my question, si Mami Rose ko recorded. Yes po, recorded ito. Okay. Pwede namang mag-retouch ng image but um, right now, hindi na siya practical for us kasi we want to cover a lot of stuff. Ang pinakita ko lang talaga kanina is just to um, show you kung ano yung select subject na feature ni Photoshop. Okay? Na kahit isang click lang um, with AI, para na siyang remove background na sobrang dali. Hindi na siya kagaya dati na mano-mano pa lahat-lahat. Alright. Of course, kung gusto mong mas maayos siya, kung mas pino, mas hindi halatang kinuha mo lang sa ibang picture, you can refine and you can retouch the image if you want. But for now, um, we will not be covering that. Alright. So, um, ano yung size nito? It's very tricky kasi iba yung size kapag nanonood ka sa TV, sa desktop. Iba din yung size sa laptop, iba din yung size sa mobile. And that's what I'm going to teach you tonight. Um, we will be opening Canva. All right. And let's go to the file that I prepared for you. And then I'm going to provide the link to this as well para ma-download ninyo and maging guide ninyo. Um, pag TV screen, okay, lakayan natin ng konti. 
Yun ang 75. Ayan. Mas nakikita nyo na ba yung screen? Tapos mag-quick mock-up tayo later. Um, eto muna and then yung mock-up na topic. Okay, so nakikita ba ninyo? Um, I-close ko ito para mas siya na lang yung center stage. Ayan. U.S. customer ba usually yung client? It depends kung ano po yung target market mo. Kung gusto mo mag-zone in lang sa U.S. clients, then it's possible. Pero yung mga estudyante ko, madami ding nakukuwang Europeans and of course, madami ding local na clients. So, yun yung maganda kasi hindi mo kailangan uh, mag-focus sa isang market lang kasi possible siya na makakuha ka ng iba't ibang clients from different parts of the globe. Ayan. So, ito siya. Nakikita ninyo. Alright. Itong buong white, yung buong file natin, yung size nito, yung dimension na tama is 2,560 pixels um, by 1,440 pixels. So, you can check that here file. Ayun, nakalagay. YouTube channel art template, 2,560px times 1,440 pixels. Ito yung tamang pixels. But, You have to be, uh, you have to know na hindi yan yung buong size na makikita mo sa channel art. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo, di ba, mapayat na siyang mahaba. So, ang nakikita natin sa desktop, kasi desktop yung gamit ko ngayon, is itong linyang to, ito, yung light peach. Ayan, light peach. Hindi siya light, but peach. Ayan. So, ang save zone naman, kung gusto mong walang ma-remove na letters or text or pictures and anything, dito, dito ka lang maglalagay. Okay? And then, pag desktop, eto siya. Pag laptop, eto hanggang dito sa green na line. Pag mobile, dapat hanggang dito ka lang sa may orange line na to. I think papalitan ko to ng color. Palitan natin ng darker para mas, ano, mas mapansin ninyo. Ito na lang. Okay. Palitan natin siya. Ayan. So, yung pinapoint ng arrow, ibig sabihin hanggang dyan yung safe zone. Alright? So, mobile, again, hanggang dito sa violet na line. Sa laptop, hanggang dito sa green. And sa desktop, hanggang dito sa dulo ng file natin. So, um, 2,000, ah, 1,000, eto ang, ang mahaba, 2,560. Ito, ito naman yung patayo, yung vertical is 1,440 pixels. Ayan. Any questions so far about this? Para halimbawa, uh, may clients kayo, tapos gusto nyo magka-YouTube channel and all that, you already know what to do about it. Ayan. So, again, remember, dapat dito lang yung safe na area where you can include yung mga text. Pag lumampas ka halimbawa sa... Uh, mobile ka, uh, mag, 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 manonood, ayan. So, ang makikita mo hanggang dito lang sa purple. So, pag naglagay ka ng additional information dito, hindi mo na siya mag-view sa mobile. So, remember, ang pinaka-safe na zone for you would be until here sa purple na lines. So, hanggang dyan lang yung mga importante para kita siya sa lahat ng platform. So, don't forget that. Okay. Um, also, you can create, aside from Canva, you can also create um, this uh, Adobe Spark. Possible din siya. And you can sign up for an account free siya for two months. Premium account free for two months. You can go to Adobe Spark. So, search nyo lang sa Google, Adobe Spark, and then you can create an account. It's free for two months. All right. So, any questions so far? I'll give you a copy of this. Um, I'll share ko sa inyo yung link so you can create your own as well para may guide kayo. What I do when I create, so para hindi natin siya masira, um, let's just duplicate it. Ayan, nasa page 2 na tayo. And then what I do is, um, I go to elements and then I go here sa shapes. Tapos, ay, magalaw ko siya. Sorry. Um, undo. Ayan, and then what I do is to do this. So, parang iti-trace ko lang siya. And then, position natin siya forward. Okay? And then, gagawin ko siyang transparent. Ayan. So, nakikita ko na yung nasa likod. And then, I'm gonna add again another shape. Tapos again, like I did earlier, iti-trace ko din siya. 
Ayan, so ano na, safe na ako, tapos gagawin ko ulit siyang transparent, i-adjust ko na lang siya later. And then, ang tatandaan ko lang pag gumagawa ko ng design ng channel art, hanggang dito lang sa purple. Okay? So, halimbawa, maglalagay na ako ng mga ano elements. Lagay natin si ate. Ayan. So, dapat hanggang dun lang. Okay. So, hindi na to makikita sa mobile, yung nasa cut area. Okay? So, and then, I can adjust na ito dahil nakita ko na yung kabilang dulo. Um, hanap pa tayo ng isa. Hmm, kunyari ito. I'm just randomly picking how, of course, you can design whatever you want. Okay, ayan, nasa dulo na din siya. And then again, I can adjust na yung transparency. Okay, and then I can go to town with this design already. Kasi alam ko na, na ito yung limit na makikita sa mobile. Available po sa free trial ng Canva ang YouTube channel art. Yes po, available po siya to kahit anong gawin mo, um, pwede sa free trial. Ayan. So you can put your channel name na here and then all the other information. Pero ang pinaka-importante lang talaga na tandaan ninyo yung safe zone. Okay? So you can also adjust the transparency here na kasi hindi mo naman na siya makikita. Or you can have a colorful na background para pag nanood sila sa TV, mas maganda din yung makita nilang background. Okay? Ayan. So, any questions so far? Okay. So, while waiting for questions, let's go back to our um, live poll. Ayan. Medyo madami ding sumagot. Ayan. Thank you so much for answering. Let's go back to our presentation. So, anong pinakamadaming ano, participant natin tonight sa webinar? Pinakamarami ang taga Quezon City at taga GMA Cavite. Ayan. Next year, malamang taga Cavite na rin ako. Ayan. Wala ba taga Makati tonight? Ako lang ba? Ayan. Walang nanood na taga Makati. May taga Olonga po, may taga Binyan. Hello sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat for joining. Ayan, I think mas malaki pa tong Cavite. Papantayan niyo yung Quezon City kung um, nag-iba si yung plane lang na Cavite. I'm not sure. Magkaiba ba sila? Yung GMA Cavite at Cavite. I'm not aware. Ayan. So you can um, participate by going to slidedo.com and then pag tinanong kayo ano yung um, code ng webinar natin tonight, it's 67847. You can answer. Ayan. Maraming salamat for joining in. Merong mga taga-Pangasinan. Merong taga-good evening. Saan kaya yun? Ayan. <laughs> okay. Ayan. May, may taga-Doha, Qatar. Ayan. Maraming salamat for joining. May taga-Singapore, UAE. Ayan. Ayan. Dito ako lilipat next year sa General Trias, Cavite. Meron ako magiging kapitbahay. Ayan. Maraming salamat again for joining and let's go to the other poll. Ayan, nagbago. Meron sumagot additional. Okay. Let's go to the other poll naman. Um, puntahan natin yung question, what is your favorite tool for designing? Ayan. You can still answer. Um, same pa din. Makikita ninyo, just go to slido.com and then enter the code 67847. What is your favorite tool for designing? Ayan, ang panalo for tonight is Canva. Ayan. So, di ba hindi naman mahirap mahalin si Canva? Masyado siyang ano lang. Very user-friendly. You can participate in our cloud. Kukuhanan ko to ng screenshot, tas isi-share ko. Ayan, you are a part of the history kasi first time akong gumamit ng ganito during the live session. So, kung meron kayong mga clients na nagla-live din, nagwe-webinar, pwede ninyong i-suggest ito sa kanila to make their webinars more interactive. May audience participation. Para, in a way, hindi maging boring yung um, webinar. So, hindi lang yung trainer ang nagsasalita, hindi lang yung speaker ang nagsasalita. Ayan. So, maraming salamat um, for participating. I enjoyed this slide. I think eh, gagamitin ko pa rin siya next time na mag-webinar tayo. Pero 
um, baka mag-subscribe na ako sa premium plan para mas madami na akong matanong sa inyo. So anyway, let's go to the quiz. Um, hindi ko siya ipapakita sa screen ko. Um, Iko-control ko siya sa phone, sa my app, para hindi nyo makita accidentally yung ano yung ibang questions. Okay, let me just log in. Are you ready to participate sa quiz natin? Okay, so let me just log in to my account sa app. So, pwede siya sa phone, pwede sa iPad, pwede sa computer. So, in case you are wondering, or if you yourself is conducting webinars, then by all means, you can do this as well. Okay, let's go to questions muna before we proceed to um, our quiz. May mga nagtanong, may mga nag-iwan ng tanong. So, First question, what do you love most about graphic design? So, ang pinaka-love ko with graphic design is because I can express myself. Um, it involves thinking. It involves problem solving. So, gustong-gusto ko siya kasi na-challenge siya ko. Ayan. And then, um, next question, how can I develop an eye for beautiful design? Like, how would I know if a design is technically and aesthetically good? Okay, so what you can do is get some inspiration or look at the things that you like. Okay, you can go to Pinterest, you can go to Instagram. I'm sure meron kang moments na naisip mo na, wow, ang ganda, wow, yung design, uh, ano, very attractive. Di ba meron ka ng ganun na sense? Hindi naman, siguro naman may, may, may naiilisit ng na reaction from you kapag nakakakita ka ng magandang design. So collate all the things that you like. And then start practicing. Practice is the only way for you to be able to develop your skill. Kasi itong skill na to, hindi ito basta-basta, overnight, perfect ka na, expert ka na, hindi. So, napapractice siya sa bawat araw, sa bawat design na ginagawa mo, na improve yung skill mo, nag improve din yung gusto mo. I admit, 2015, iba yung yung style ng um, design na gusto ko compared to ngayon, 2020, iba na rin yung style na gusto ko. So, um, dati, sobrang gusto ko, madaming font sa isang design. Gusto ko parang fiesta tingnan. Gusto ko punong-puno yung design na ginagawa ko. Pero ngayon, I appreciate minimalis minimalism better than maximalism. So, yun. mag -e evolve yung gusto mo along um, the period na covered mo yung pagde-design. So, yun lang. Practice and practice and practice that's the only way for you to develop your skill and of course to develop your eye for graphic design okay inom lang ako tubig mm. ayan next question what are the tools you used in graphic design so ano ako kasi may experiment ako so pag may bago gagamitan ko <laughs> ayan so uh, ang lagi kong ginagamit ngayon with my clients would be um, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Canva, Easel, Crello and marami pang iba so yun yung common sa so, video editing naman Ofio, Powtoon, um, Adobe Rush Um, Premiere Pro hindi masyado kasi hindi ako makuha ng clients na Adobe Premiere Pro yung kailangan um, iMovie, Final Cut Pro 10, ayan, so yun yung mga ginagamit ko usually, of course Filmora nakalimutan kong i-mention Ayan. So, yun yung mga ginagamit ko usually. Pero, ako pag may bagong, aka, ay may bagong tool na lumabas, eh mag-experiment ako, itatry ko siya. Kung maganda, i-recommend ko. Kung hindi, hindi ko siya i-recommend at hindi ko siya babanggitin. <laughs> okay. So, where do you get ideas in making your graphic design? So, ayan. Uh, merong ano, of course, sa lagi-laging pag-design and all that, alam ko na yung mga gusto kong gawin. Pero, sa mga moments na medyo nawawalan ako ng inspiration, nagkakaroon ako ng creative block, ang ginagawa ko, yung na-mention ko earlier, magbabrowse ako ng mga design na gusto ko, pupuntaan ko yung website ng mga mentors ko dati, yung mga idol ko, ganyan, yung mga fina-follow ko sa Instagram, sa Pinterest, and with browsing, I get to uh, make the creative juices flow again. Ayan. How do you make sure you are using safe elements for your projects? Okay. So, ang sagot ko dyan ay subscribe. <laughs> Ayan. Pero, if wala pa kayong budget masyado sa mga subscriptions, then you make sure to read the licenses before you, re before you use them on your designs. But the safest way is for you to get a subscription 
pay for it para hindi ka na magkamali. Alam mo na yung gagamitin mo, meron kang license to use it. Ayan. But if you are not ready to commit to subscribing, then you have to be able to read the licenses, go to the frequently asked questions of the website, and then read the on your terms of service, copyright service, and all that para sure ka na tama or um, na may license ka dun sa gagamitin mong elements. Also, do not just go to google.com and search for the elements that you will use. More often than not, merong copyright yun and hindi ka, hindi ka lusot pagka um, na padalhan ka na ng subpina in the future kasi ginamit mo na walang lisensya yung tools or yung elements nung isang artist. So, careful. Anong pagkakaiba ng JPEG at PNG? Um, so, sa JPEG, it's smaller file. Um, it's great for photos and all that or for uploading files on the internet. Um, of course, maging pixelated siya kapag na-reach yung, yung, anong tawag nito? Yung limit ng file, yung maximum resolution niya. And then, ang PNG naman is actually ideally for those with transparent background images. So, um, yun yung um, isang pwede ninyong tandaan when dealing with JPEG and PNG. Also, for PNG files, I would suggest to save your um, work na PNG file kapag merong text para mas pino yung mga um, elements na makikita mo, yung components ng design mo mismo. So, there would be a lot more differences, pero yan yung mas magandang tandaan ninyo as of this point if you are just starting up. Ayan, everyday po ba yung class online? May work po ako sa resto, pero gusto ko po kasi mag-enroll. Paano po maging process nun? Ang class natin, Mondays through Fridays, um, but if hindi ka available Mondays to Fridays, carry lang yan kasi you can do it on the weekends as well or kung kailan ka free. So, um, kapag may access ka na kasi sa platform, anytime, you can open and you can watch the videos already. Um, also, kahit holidays, ganyan, pwede mo pa rin siyang ma-access. So, totally kontrolado mo kung ano yung panonoorin mong videos at any given time na you will log in. Yung ano lang, yung may oras lang talaga, yung mga live sessions natin. Yung live naman, wala tayong exact na oras kasi papipiliin ko pa rin yung mga students ko, halimbawa yung July batch, ganyan. Sa before mag-orientation, papipiliin ko sila kung ano yung gusto nilang araw, kung kailan kami magla-live. So, so far, ang laging napipili, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., or 8 p.m. Ganyan usually yung napipiling oras. So, depende sa batch ninyo, the majority will win in designing. Hindi ako yung magde-decide kung anong araw at anong oras yung live session natin. Ayan. Are you not tired of answering repetitive questions? Sometimes I get tired, but I don't show it. So, <laughs> rest assured that when you ask a question, I will answer or I will lead you to where you can find the answer. Ayan. How to create a catchy portfolio? Okay, so I think we can... Um, Ayun, mag-enroll ka sa course ko. Meron tayong topic about creating portfolios. We will be discussing how to create Google Sites, portfolios using Google Sites and Wix. And if you have not joined... Um, Canva Creatives Philippines yet, you may want to join. Meron akong demo noong June 6, discussing how to create portfolio using Canva. Ayan. So, possible siya. Direct, uh, may, meron ka na kaagad website. Okay? And then, can I enroll my 19-year-old son? Ayan, pwede po. Pwedeng-pwede. Pwedeng mga daddies, pwede din yun yung i-enroll. May mga naging students ako before na mga daddies. And meron ding nag-enroll na 16 years old na nasa senior high school. So, pwedeng-pwede po. Kasi itong ano natin, yung matututunan natin sa class, hindi lang ito pang trabaho, pwedeng pang personal development. And pwede ding pang ano, halimbawa, um, Sudyante sila ngayon, tapos kailangan nila ng additional skill para mas um, habang nagde-decide pa lang sila kung anong course yung kukunin nila sa college, ganyan. So, pwedeng-pwede ito kasi pwede siyang magamit personal life, daily life, ganyan. Hindi lang siya pang, pang freelancer na tipong hindi mo na siya magagamit on a normal day. Pwede turuan mo yung anak mo para lahat ng invitations ng family gatherings nyo, sila na yung gagawa for you. So, ganyan, pwede. Pwedeng-pwede po. Okay, so na-cover na natin lahat ng audience question, I think. Ayun, 
Meron pa pala isa. How much po mostly ang charge per graphic? Depende po. Ang um, tinuturo ko sa mga students ko, kasi hindi ako nag i na ganito dapat yung presyo, ha? Ganyan. Ang tinuturo ko sa mga students ko, tanungin nila si client po ano yung requirements, gano'ng kabilis kailangan ipasa yung project, um, titingnan din nila kung ano yung mga tools na gagamitin, ano yung subscriptions na gagamitin, and meron topic on pricing wherein I teach kung paano mag-compute ng price na pwede mong ibigay sa clients mo. So, I will be empowering you to decide on what your pricing will be kasi iba-iba tayo. May iba legit na subscription ng Adobe yung ginagamit, yung iba crack. So, hindi fair na sabihin ko na dapat pag ganito na ginawa nyo sa Photoshop, ganito yung rate. Hindi fair for me to say that. Very unfair yon sa mga nagbabayad ng full price as compared doon sa gumagamit ng crack. Hindi din naman siya fair for me to say na um, dapat ganito lang presyo mo, kahit na you think you deserve higher. So it's up to you to decide. I will be there to empower you on what you, what you think you're worth. So price your projects on what you think you're worth. Never compare your prices with other people. Kasi ma-frustrate ka lang. Don't waste your time trying to find ano nga ba talaga yung current market price ngayon ng mga ganitong projects. No. Instead, compute mo kung ano yung mga magagasto mo, magagastos mo na mga tools, subscriptions, ilang oras, si client ba mataray, mahilig mag-request ng revisions, ganoon. So, i-bake in niyo siya when you decide for your pricing. So, I will teach you that skill on how you will price your clients better without comparing yourselves with other people. Ayan. So, mas maganda yun. Kasi, um, at the end of the day, you know that you, um, yung skill mo, nabayaran ng maayos or na position mo ng maayos yung sarili mo. So, hindi ka, in, in, hindi ka mag aaksaya ng oras dealing with a client na hindi valued yung gawa mo. Ayan. And question, may dalawa pa. Um, how much is the enrollment fee? Ang enrollment fee po natin ay 5,000 pesos. Ayan. Ayan, nag-follow up questions. Ay, hindi na question. Na. Thank you na lang pala si Mami. Ayan. Yes po. Um, you can ask questions. Kung hindi ko siya makover, ma hindi ko pa naman i-end yung poll natin. So, pag gusto nyo makita ko, ayan, proof na nagbabasa ako ng questions. <laughs> hindi ako nag i ng questions. Ayan. So, proof yan. Um, and I will be sharing with you kung may mga ano pa. Halimbawa, may hindi ako nasagot live. I will be answering sa ano sa comment section naman ng ano natin, ng live. Okay, so let's go to the live polls. Ayan, sa word cloud natin, um, what is your favorite tool for designing? Ayan, 84 na yung sumagot. And sa word cloud pool natin, na where are you watching? Merong 60 na sumagot. Okay, um, next, sa quiz tayo, meron pa bang nanonood sa akin? <laughs> meron pa naman yata. So mag-quiz tayo. I-activate ko na siya. So go to slido.com. Again, um, if you want to see your name sa leaderboard, you have to press or you have to use your name when you register. etong kanina, okay lang to kahit di kayo nag-register kasi hindi naman kailangan yung name. Pero doon sa ano natin, Sa quiz, ayan, meron pang dumadagdag ng um, comment dito. So, I think meron pang nanonood talaga sa akin. Yay! Okay. Ayan, so nagdadagdag. QC talaga yung ano, box office. And then, sunod ang Olongapo City. Ayan. So, mag-quiz na tayo. Ayan, activate ko na siya. Are you ready? Five questions lang naman. Kasi nagtatry pa lang tayo. Sa so, next na mga live natin, masahabaan ko na and magpe-prepare na ako ng price. Okay? So, let's go. Um, ayun. Start quiz. So there you go. Meron 30 seconds for you to answer. And then I will uh, mag-show yung leaderboard later. So choose the correct answer and it will show you the answer as well later. So what does CMYK mean? Ayan. So yun yung choices. Nakapili na ba kayo? You have 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Clock is ticking. There you go. Let's see if may nakasagot ng tama. Okay, ang galing. Meron tayong um, 65% ng sumagot na katama. So, ang tamang sagot, 
cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Nakakatawa. So, i-explain ko kung bakit K, hindi B ang nakalagay. The reason for that, kasi meron pang blue na color. So, para hindi magkamali, it's actually called key. Sa, ano, sa, if we get into more detail, hindi talaga siya black yung nakalagay. Pero yung representation ng black is K-E-Y. Yung parang spelling niya, Susi, key, ayan. So, C-M-Y-K, cyan, magenta, yellow, key, or yung black. Ayan siya. So, kung may mga printers kayo, yan yung inks ng apat na nakalagay doon sa ink tank ninyo. Yung parang cyan is yung parang blue, magenta yung mukhang red, and of course yellow, and then yung black. Okay? So, there you go. Thank you. So, 65% ng participants natin nakatama. Okay? So, yung, so 29%, now you know, hindi kaki yung K. Okay? So, Next tayo. Ready? Here's the next question na mentioned ko to late, uh, earlier. What do you call the banner on top of the YouTube channel? Alright. Channel banner, channel art, channel dashboard, or channel cover? Yay! Two seconds left. Okay, so there you go. Ang tamang sagot is channel art. So, yun yung tawag. So, 62% nakatama. Channel art yung tamang sagot dun sa banner na nat sa taas ng YouTube channel. Okay, let's go to the next. Gusto nyo makita yung leaderboard so far? Let's see. Nag-show ba? Show to participants. Ayan, ang leading. Ayan, madaming naka-perfect, ko. Oh. Lani Merano, Jean. Si Mami Jean ang participate. April Dawn, Janet, and ano yung isang name? Hindi ko makita. Nagpakita ka. Ayan, sige, later. Ayun, ang bilis sumagot. 27 seconds. Okay. So, sige, next question tayo. Question number three. So, kung teacher din kayo, tapos gusto nyo may audience participation yung students ninyo, you can also implement this slido.com. Okay. So, let's go to quiz um, number three, third question. What is the recommended size for Instagram post? Na-mention ko din ito kanina, nung ano, yung topic natin na pag-select ng subject. Na-mention ko nung pumunta ako dun sa Photoshop. So, First, 1080 by 1920, 1920 by 1080, third option, 1080 by 1080, and um, 720 or 1080. So, go and answer. You have three seconds. Okay, there you go. The recommended size for Instagram post is 1080 by 1080 pixels. So, square siya. Ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, siya lang yung mag-isang hindi square dito sa... Ay, siya, ito lang, yung 1080 lang ang mag-isang square dito sa dimensions natin. Of course, you can post other size. Pwede naman. Pero ang pinaka-recommended and pinaka-optimum size would be 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. If um, the resolution is lower than that, expect na magiging low quality din yung ipopost niyo sa Instagram. So you have to make sure na ganito yung dimension or ganito yung size ng ipopost niyo sa Instagram accounts niyo at sa Instagram accounts ng clients niyo. So halimbawa, merong client na lumapit sa inyo, can you make um, Instagram posts for me? Ganyan. Ngayon, hindi nyo na siya tatanungin anong size kasi ang standard size is already 1080 by 1080 pixels. Okay? Alright. So, let's see the leaderboard right now. Ayan. Oh, perfect pa din. Ayan. So, um, Ruth yung isa. I'm not sure ano yung last name. Pero ayan. May leaderboard tayo. Nakakatawa. Natutuwa ba kayo? Let me know sa comments para ano... Um, maganahan ako mag-prepare ng price sa next na webinar natin. Ayan, so fourth question. Ayan, live now. Where do you usually publish puzzle feed or grid? Facebook, Instagram story, Instagram, or Pinterest? 
Ayan, exciting. I wanna know kung sino yung mga mananalo. I'll publish the leaderboard. Um, kuhanan ko ng screenshot. Tapos i-share ko din sa comments later after ng webinar natin. Okay, ayan. Two seconds left. One second. Boom. Let's see. Oh, ayan, Instagram, yung tamang sagot. Ang galing. 59% um, nakaano sila, nakatama. So, laging sa Instagram, yung optimal place for you to put your puzzle feed. Yung nilalagay sa Pinterest, samples na lang yon. Yung sa Instagram story, samples. Sa Facebook, samples. Pero kasi yung puzzle feed grid, hinahati talaga siya into squares. Kaya ang main area where you can put it is really Instagram. Okay. One more question left. Uh, and then we will... There you go. What is the recommended size for YouTube channel art? I also mentioned that earlier and pinakita ko din nung nag-click ako ng file and kung ano yung file size niya. So choose the best answer. Um, ito nakalagay din, din di, ito sa YouTube na FAQ. Ayan. So, pumapasok yung ano natin, yung votes, votes, well, being the answers. Okay. Hindi yata ako naglagay ng time dito, ah. Medyo matagal. Okay. So, i-end ko na. Pagka naka-60 yung sasagot. 57. Ayan, 60 na. So, i-end ko na siya on my... Hindi ko siya nalagyan ng time limit. I'm really, really sorry. Ayan. Kaya trial pa lang ito. <laughs> Ayan, nalayo niya mag-end. So, puntahan natin siya doon. Ay, naka-enable timer naman. Save. Okay. Ayan, ang tamang sagot dito ay, sabihin ko na lang, 2560 by 1440. Ba't ayaw niyang mag-end? Nag-hong. Oy. Sad. Edit. Display. Okay. Tara. Ayan. Please show. Okay, there you go. Meron tayong leaderboard. Show to participants. Ayun. So, ang first place natin, si Mami Jean, tapos si Lal Mami Lani, Ruth, Janet. Ayun, naka-perfect sila. Apat yung naka-perfect sa quiz natin. Yay! Thank you so much for joining our quiz. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, meron akong surprise dito sa apat. Kindly update your ano, your, or message me na lang dun sa mga walang last names. I think ito si Mami Jean Cortez to, if I'm not mistaken. Tama ba ako? And then si Mami Lani na very active din sa um, Canva Creatives Philippines. Ayan, sa maraming salamat. And then Mami Ruth, Mami Janet, please message me so I can send your surprise na ano, prizes for tonight. Ayan. So I'm going to... Um, take a screenshot of all of this. Meron akong um, ano din dito sa end ko. And then, sige nga, screenshot ko na lang ngayon. Uy, huwag kang mag-appear. Nag-appear siya. Ayan. So, para ilagay ko sa comments. So, to congratulate everyone for joining. Ayan, maraming salamat for actively participating. Mas, ano, mag-prepare kayo sa next na webinars natin para... Um, mas madaming maka, ano, makasagot sa mga questions. Ayan. So, we tried audience Q&A, we tried live, po, po, live polls, and we tried yung word cloud. Ayan, exciting. Natutuwa ako. So, we will implement this again sa next na webinar. I hope you like it. And um, my price yung top four. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation. Um, there you go. And then, meron pa tayong next na, konti na lang. Present. Tapos yung working with Mac apps, gagawin ko na lang siya ng video and I will share with you. Kasi, lampas na tayo. Sorry. Ayan, so webinar feedback. I'd love to know um, your feedback regarding our webinar for tonight. So, you can um, answer it and receive free graphic design elements. 
um, with commercial license, of course. Ayan, bit.ly forward slash katiewebinar0618. Ayan, pakiano na lang, um, screenshot na lang tong screen para hindi nyo makalimutan. So, I will be opening this in the next 24 hours. Iko-close ko siya tomorrow. Um, and then, yung makakasagot and magbibigay ng feedback, um, bibigyan ko ng free graphic design elements. I really love receiving feedback, um, negative or positive, so that I can improve yung content ng webinar ko every month para uh, yung value nandun pa rin, para hindi sayang yung oras ninyo in joining yung ano natin, yung nakaschedule na webinar. Ayan. And then, any more questions? Um, I think we can, I can accommodate more questions um, until, kahit until 9.40 tayo. Ayan. Any more questions so far? Um, check ako. Balikan ko sa comment section. Baka may questions doon. Tapos hindi ko nasagot. Ayan. I think wala na. So, ayun. I'll give you back your time tonight. Thank you so much again for joining me. Sana na-enjoy nyo yung session natin. And you can um, watch the replay kung hindi nyo siya naumpisahan. Um, and stand by sa next na webinar, um, which is gonna happen next month. Ay, may pahabol. Paano po mag-download ng Lightroom photo app? Sorry, out of topic. Is it downloadable? Yes, is it is. Um, you can go to App Store if you are using um, iPhone. If you are using Android, you can go to Google Play. Pero I think it will require you to log in. I'm just, Jel, ni-require ka bang mag-log in? Nung gumamit ka ng Lightroom? Hindi, no? Pero nakapag-edit ka. Ayan, nagamit niya daw kahit wala siyang username and password. So, you can go ahead and just download it from App Store or from Google Play and may install mo na siya sa phone mo. Pwede din sa desktop, pero kailangan mo nang install yung Creative Cloud. Ayan. About the webinar, super informative at the same time enjoying everything. Yay! Sige. Maraming salamat sa question and sa feedback. I hope I helped you. If hindi mo mahanap or you need additional guidance, please feel free to message me. I'll be here to answer your questions. Okay? Kung confused pa din kayo and may additional questions kayo na hindi ko nasagot, hindi ko na-discuss tonight, let me know. Message me. Um, look for my... Puntahan natin yung Facebook ko para makita ninyo. Um, dito kayo mag-message, hawag dun sa isang account ko na Katie Nielsen kasi minsan ko lang chinicheck yon Chinicheck ko lang yon pag na-block ako dito sa account ko. So, eto na profile. Kesa Thea Egegard Nielsen. Ayan, yung picture. Picture namin ni Summer. Ayan. Tapos, eto yung um, cover photo. Hindi ko to napapalitan so hindi kayo mako-confuse. So hanapin niyo lang tong account na to and um I'll be able to help you kung may questions kayo. All right? Okay. Ah, parang ang daming type ng Lightroom. Sige, you can screenshot and then um I can point to you kung ano yung pwede mong gamitin. Sige, screenshot mo yung options na nakikita mo. Okay. So thank you again for joining me, mommies. Um have a good night and kung nabitin kayo sa pag-dinner ninyo kanina or hindi pa yun nakakapagugas ng pinggan, I'm really sorry pero I hope you were able to enjoy our session for tonight. I'm looking forward to read your um, feedback about our webinar for tonight and I'm also looking forward to send you yung free graphic design elements that you will be receiving for answering um, the webinar feedback form, but make sure na naka-yes kayo doon sa are you willing to receive um, items or an email from me. Kapag nag-no kayo, hindi ako magsisend because that's violating your privacy. Okay? Thank you again, everyone. Bye! I'm the founder of Filipina Home-Based Moms. FH Moms as a social enterprise provides livelihood home-based opportunities to Filipina moms. FH Moms' goals is to end the poverty here
here in the Philippines. Because when you help a mom, you're actually helping the whole family. And then we also want to provide quality education. And we want to promote women empowerment in the workplace and business. Yes. Um, Vanessa Lopardero, sobrang daming, sobrang daming natutulong nila, knowledge, at napaka-friendly ng community. So, I'm going to thank you sa FH Mas dahil as a mother, sobrang pangarap natin na mag-work at home kasama yung mga anak natin, pamilya natin. In 10 years, um, I'm seeing FH Moms as a social enterprise that uh, will help bridge gender equality. And um, maybe in 10 years, uh, we already have our own platform because right now all of our initiatives are in Facebook.